Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we are doing another storing photo cards in my binder video because I have a lot of cards. I kind of wanted to wait until the end of the month to do another one of these, but I counted and we have over 80 cards. So it is about time, I think, to put them away. So as you can see, I have so many cards, like literally there are over 80. I didn't do a collective haul for this month just because I've been really busy with exams and stuff. So I didn't want to film individual clips, but these are a combination of trades. I got a big Neokio order in and also some album pulls. So yeah, I think we're just going to start out by sorting them into the binders they go into. There we go, we have a solid stack for both Twice and my girl groups. There's definitely most Twice cards and then a little bit for my boy group binder as well. So I think we're going to start out with the boy groups. So here we have my boy group binder. I hope the glare isn't going to be too bad. I have to use artificial lighting because the sun doesn't want to cooperate. So yeah, I think I have a few cards for a tease. I'm so sad though. I think this card has gotten lost and if you collect ATs at all or you collect Sun, you know that the EP3 wave version and the EP1 are hard to find, I guess you can say. So I'm really sad that that probably is lost. I still have some hope that it'll show up, but I don't know. It probably won't. So I did change the layout for this. Originally, I wanted to have the card like the way I wanted them to look on the front page, I guess, but the backs line up and I thought it wasn't going to bother me too much, but it did bother me. So we changed the way we lay that out. But today I have this card, which if I'm not mistaken, is the limited version Z. So this just goes down here. I'm still only missing one card for this page, which is one of the diary versions. And then I did change this as well. I don't have any cards for this, but I decided to collect some more pre-order cards for Sun or fam sign cards. So I have his make star round three or four. One of the make star rounds on the way, both the hollow and the regular. So those are going to go here. Then this is just MMT, the cane time for you, and then some other MMT cards. So yeah, we'll move on. I don't have anything for BTS today, but I do have quite a few cards for N hyphen. I finally got my carnival cards in the mail. I got most of these cards from Neokyo. One is from a group order. I did join a group order for just inclusions, but that was a bit of a mess, honestly. I don't remember which card I got from that, but let's see. We have, these are the hype version. This is the down version. These are the up version. Let's see. So the up version, the A is the selfie and then B is the non-selfie. So it will go like this, I think. This, I, I believe. I think this is what I wanted. Yes, okay. Like that. I am hosting a group order on my Instagram with a full set of someone's cards, except a few. So I'm hoping that will go through and that I can get the rest of the cards through that. Or I also have a bunch of cards up for trade. So hopefully I will be making some more progress on this very, very soon. Then I do have some cards for TXT as well. I got my freeze albums and I pulled this, which is my favorite Yeonjun card. Thank you to everyone who made this possible, mostly me and Catch Up CD, but yes, look at him. Just look at this card. It is, I, I love it. I love it so much. And then I traded for his U version and his OS card. And now this has changed a little bit because originally I was planning to collect OT5 for the OS cards because you get one in each album and I was obviously going to buy all albums. That means I got three, but then I saw the cards and while they're not hideous, they're not my favorite. So instead of doing that, I was only going to collect Yeonjun. But then I found a lot of the sets for the Kyo's Chapter Freeze of all the members 
for pretty cheap on Mercari and I opened group orders for them so they're all on the way and I decided to collect OT5 for the world version because apparently I hate money. Okay, so the OS card and the U version should go on this page like that. I also have this boy version on the way from Mercari but that's going to take a while to get to me. So they just go like this. I've also been thinking. Remember how I said I wasn't going to collect anything before Blue Hour? I might, just might, have changed my mind on that and want to collect Eternity and Magic as well. Because again, I hate money apparently. I don't want to collect anything that's like bigger than 9 pocket size for Yonjin, but both the like ID cards from Magic and the collage cards from Eternity fit into 9 pockets, meaning I can collect them. I don't know yet, I'm thinking, I'm having many thoughts, but yeah. But Yeonjin's world card should go up here. Like that. As I said, this is my favorite Yeonjin card and the world version is by far my favorite version from this album. So I'm so excited to get OT5 for that. I think it'll look so pretty. Super excited. So yeah, that was everything for the boy group binder. Let's move on to the girl group binder next. This binder is so heavy. When did it get this heavy? I don't remember it ever being this heavy. Okay, let's see. So let's just sort this into groups. So once again, I don't have anything for Dreamcatcher, but I did finally find a trade for the last Lose Myself card I needed. I'm super excited. I think this page will look so pretty. I am kind of, not very much, but kind of looking for her MMT because the MMT is very different from all the other outfits. I could do her K-Town For You card too, but the K-Town For You card has the same outfit as this, so I don't know. But in all technicality, like this will be complete when this card arrives. So yeah, I do have some cards for G-Friend. So first up, I have three cards for my set for Sunny Summer. So I'm only missing Una now, which is so nice. This is the one album that I decided not to collect another set from just because these cards aren't my favorite. Like I really like some of the cards, but not all of them. So yeah, I'm looking for a very specific Una. She has to have like a red outfit. But yeah, finally making some progress on this, which is super nice. And then I do have the last Yuju for Time For Us. So she goes here, which means this set is complete. I think this is one of my favorite sets out of my entire g Friend collection. They are so pretty, especially Umji and also Yirin. Love it. Love to see it. And then I do have two cards for this page as well. So I have this Yuju and this Umji. I think I'm only missing one card each for Umji and so on to complete my collection for them, which is super nice. I'm still waiting for quite a bit to arrive though. I do have the last Umji card for this page, which is this one. And then I do have four cards for this page. So I have Suwon, Una, Shinbi, and Umji, which will look super nice. So let's get the fillers out. I feel like I've been progressing kind of fast with my GFriend collection after I decided to collect more, which is nice. I Last I checked, I think I'm missing like 18 cards or something, which isn't all that many. So for Labyrinth, I only have this one Umji card, one of my favorite Umji cards ever. She's so stunning. So she goes here. Also, when I'm filming this just a few days ago, we got news that Yerin has re-signed. I don't remember the agency, but she has re-signed with a new agency. So we finally got some news on one of the members. So now I guess we just have to wait for news on the other members. I think Una is probably going to announce what she's going to do once she finishes her OST and really cuts ties with Source Music. It still doesn't feel real that they've disbanded. I just... it doesn't. Okay, then let's put in a card for Itzy. I finally have the last card for It's Icy, so I'm going to be completing this set today, which is super nice. I feel like I've been looking for this card for literal ages. 
and I finally found someone who wanted to trade with me. I think I traded one of my Sun cards for it, like one of my non-album Sun Moons. So yeah, this page is now complete. I am thinking of putting it into a cross pattern instead of like this pattern, but I don't know. For now, it is remaining like this. Then I have nothing for It's Me or Guess Who, but we have more eyes one so let's go back to one reeler i have her scene 2 ar i bought this from a friend on instagram i'm so excited to finally have it i'm still waiting for two cards but this is very soon going to be complete also i guess more news there are talks of relaunching eyes one i don't think you understand how much i want that to be true how much i want that to happen i miss them so much i miss them literally every day I also changed the layout for this. I don't know if this was in my last storing video, but I decided to do like a double spread for the pre-order cards for one reader. So it looks like this now. Okay, then we have quite a few cards for Oh My Girl. So starting with Secret Garden, I have both of her regular cards, which I think these are so cute. Look at them. They're also so much bigger than my regular photo cards. Like if you look at a Tondon Dance card in like comparison, you see the sleeve, like the sleeve is bigger than the card. This, the card barely fits in the sleeve. Anyways, I am going to be putting this here and this here. So now I'm only missing one card for this page and to complete Secret Garden. I feel like my autumn collection is going much faster than I thought it would, but also kind of slow. I don't know if that made sense but I am only missing one for this. Then I don't have any for Remember Me, but I do have one on the way. And I do have some cards for this page. So we have the two fifth season cards. And also this one bungee card. So the bungee card goes here and I'm only missing one card for bungee now, but I don't know which card I want to go wear for fifth season because this is going to be her selfie once I find it. It says pink because the back of that one is pink. So I'm thinking I want this one here and this one here and then the selfie in the middle. I don't know. Also, look at her. Tell me these are not the cutest cards ever. Like, you can't tell me that because it's not true. They are the cutest cards ever. Thank you. Okay, let's put this one here and then we'll put this one here. Like that. I'm only missing these two cards for this page now, so that is some good progress. And I have a card for nonstop, which high key has turned out to be the hardest one to trade for and to find cards for. I do have one of Sunny's selfie cards to trade for either of Arin's, but those cards are literally nowhere to be found. But I do have one of her quest cards, which should go up top here. like that so at least we have something and then i have completed uh dare oh my girl i'm only waiting for all the cards to come in but i should have everything on the way so for this page i have two cards to put away today i think this card is going to go here and then this is a different version yeah so this one is going to go here There we go. I think these cards are so cute. And I think, I have many thoughts, but I think I want to get one of her fansign cards to put like in the middle here. I think either the Everline with drama jump up or Soundway card. Either way, I want one of the cards with her orange hair. I just think orange hair Odin. We need a card with orange hair on it. I also, I love the backs of these cards. I think they're so pretty. So for this page, I have three cards. I have these two and then I have this one, I think. Does that align with the backs? Yes, it does. I also have this one on the way, but it is coming all the way from Australia. So it is probably going to take a little while. Let's see. So this goes here and then this goes here and this goes here. I'm still thinking many thoughts of collecting an OT7 set of this one. I do have Mimi's on the way, and I also have a bunch of cards still left to trade, so many thoughts are being thought. For now, this is complete. Tom Dom Dance is complete for regular cards, and I am only missing one of the Polaroids. I do have two of them on the way, and I have these two to put away today. I'm only missing the Umbrella one, which I literally cannot find anywhere. This should go here, and then I think this should go here, but I might have wanted that here either way. We'll put it here for now. Oh 
Honestly, like collecting Oh My Girl has turned out to be so fun. I've wanted to collect them since I started collecting, but I didn't because their cards were, or their albums rather, were all out of print. So like, I didn't want to do that because I thought it would be really, really difficult. But like, this has been so much fun. I'm having the time of my life collecting these. So yeah, I should also have the merch Polaroids on the way, hopefully. That was it for the Girl Group Binder. Now let's go to Twice Last. So I'm going to put these in order of release just so I know how I want them. Okay, so I do have one of Momo's Lane 1 cards. This is another one I feel like I've been looking for for ages. Look at her in her Tinkerbell costume. This is literally one of my favorite Momo cards ever. I'm so happy to have it. So we're making some progress on this page as well. I have this on the way as well from a trade, which is super nice. And then I have her Merry and Happy card, which is the last one I need. So Merry and Happy is complete now. I'm beginning to think this one as well might have gotten lost. It's a struggle out here. It really, really is a struggle out here. Then I have nothing for What is Love, but I do have some for Yes or Yes. So... I have the white border card, which goes down here. And then some for my OT9 set. I have this Sana and I have this Tsuri there and there. I really do like this OT9 set, so I am glad I decided to collect an OT9 set for Yes or Yes. My wallet, though, not very happy with it. And then I am completing the Year of Yes. Let's see, so I want this in the middle, and then this up here, and this one down here. So that is the Year of Yes, 100% complete. I love these cards, they're so pretty, so happy with this. Then I do have two cards for Momo for Fancy, so we have the Thin Border, and we finally have her Signature card. So this goes here, and then this one goes up here so i'm only missing this card which it says blue bubble but this is the blue bubble card so i don't know what i was thinking i'm missing the one where she's holding a flower that is the one we're missing this should be on the way the one where they're holding like the fancy sign but this is coming from a trade with the twice to gram card that i think might be lost so will we ever get it i do not know then I am completing this page, my first complete OT9 set for twice, which I'm so happy about. I have Zongyeon and Mina. These two cards are also cards I feel like I've been looking for forever, but this page is now finally complete. Can you believe it? My first complete OT9 set. Wow. And look at the backs too. They're so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, then I have a whole bunch of cards for Feel Special. I believe these are all the cards except the one that I already have and one of them. So I'm only missing one card to complete Momo. So I know that the gold card goes in the middle. And then I want the one where she's wearing this dress to go opposite this one like that. Then I want these here because she's wearing the same outfit as in the gold card. Can you tell I'm sort of figuring this out as I go? Because I can tell that I'm sort of figuring this out as I go. Then I want the diamond card up here. This goes here. I used to have this card, but then since I had a duplicate on the way, I traded it away. And then this goes here. And then the one I'm missing goes here. Yes, that is about right. Okay, yay, that looks so nice. We're finally making some progress on Feel Special. This was for so long, the one set where I barely had anything, like I had this card and this card and that was it. But we're finally making some very good progress on this. And then I do have some cards for both OT9 sets. So I have Jungyeon and Momo for this one. There we 
we go. I think this set is going to look so nice when I have all the cards, like the color border Polaroids, yes. So this is that, and then I have three cards for this OT9 set. So I have Tsui, and I have Gio, and I have Momo. I think this too is going to look really pretty with the signatures and everybody having a flower. Everyone having a gold flower except for Sana who had to have a different color flower, but it's fine. Then here I have the most card, which isn't sleeved because my sleeves are too skinny for this card. So that is just going to go there, really pretty. Then I do have Sana's signature card for my OT9 set. Can you tell? From the lack of heart signalizing that anything is on the way, that this is a slow going set because it's a slow going set. I still have to buy the more and more albums, so I'm hoping to pull any of the last two Momo cards I need or any of these cards for that, which would be really nice. For the units, I have both of these two, and then I should have the unit with Oni Line from Eyes Wide Open. So since this is four people, I want it in the middle and this goes here and then the only line unit goes here. I don't love unit cards. I never have. I probably never will, but I think these units are really pretty. So I'm happy to have them. Then I don't have anything for Momo for Eyes Wide Open, but I do have Jongyeon for this set. Also, I don't know if you watched my last video or the last during my photo cards video, but I said that I was going to collect the pre-order Eyes Wide Open group card. I was going to collect that because I had that on the way alongside the most card, but the seller instead gave me two most cards. So I decided instead of going on a hunt for that card, I would just only collect one OT9 set for Eyes Wide Open. Then I do have some cards for Taste of Love. I got my albums yesterday and I pulled a few cards I needed. I've already traded most of the cards I had that I didn't need and I definitely 100% managed to already double trade for two Sana cards. We love that for me. So I think I wanted this one here and this one here and then huh, I think these I wanted on the next page and this one here. Yes, I think that is what I wanted. Because I wanted like the cards where they're holding something or where they have like a prop to be on the same page as the lenticulars, which are going to go here. So I pulled Momo and Jiho's lenticulars, which was really nice. And they fit perfectly in these sleeves, which also so nice. Look at that. They are going to show up. It's not even that bad, so I'm not mad that you can see them through there, it's fine. Then for this page, I have Jihyo's Taste version and Momo's Fallen version. I can't explain how happy I was with the way the lenticulars worked out because from the preview, as I said in my setting up video, I thought they were going to be different concepts, but they're not. All the lenticulars are with a picture from the Taste version and a picture from the Fallen version, which works out perfectly with how I wanted to store them. like that. So yeah, I should have most of these on the way. I think I'm missing four cards in total. One for Sana, one for Jihyo, and two for Momo. So yeah, making good progress on this. I'm also missing Sana's lenticular. If anyone wants Jihyo and you have Sana, DM me on Instagram. <laughs> then I do have the pre-order cards to put away. I decided to keep the group cards for Taste of Love because they're selfies or they look like selfies. So we have the taste version for Momo, the fallen version for Momo, and the in love version, and then the group cards, which also fills out this page. So, you know, we're not complaining. So those go here. I did get the entire pre-order set because I did pre-order the album, but I decided to just keep Momo in the group and then sell or trade the rest. So yeah, I also, I love the backs of these. Can you see? They're so pretty especially the taste and the in love version, gorgeous. So yeah, I'm trading them to anything I'm missing, which is a lot of pre-orders or I'm selling them. I'm super happy with my polls and what I got for this album. And I didn't realize how much I was going to complete with this video. So that's great. We love that. Let's end this on my complete fancy page because look at this beauty.
we love it but yeah that was it for today's video thank you guys so so much for watching i hope to see you in another one very soon bye